Welcome, and thank you for joining me for this class. My name is Terry McCollum, and I'm the founder of the Granola Babes community. I'm passionate and excited about sharing essential oils and natural living with anyone and everyone who will listen to me. My own essential oils journey began in 2009. My daughter's preschool teacher introduced me to the Thieves Household Cleaner. Prior to that, essential oils were not a part of my vocabulary at all. I thought essential oils were for hippies, tree huggers, and yogis. I didn't know they could have a place in my health and wellness. Having suffered for years with women's issues and upper respiratory struggles, I learned that many of the personal care and cleaning products I had in my home were contributing to my sickness. Essential oils and Young Living products not only replaced those chemicals in my home, but became a natural support to a healthy body and healing home. I have not bought any over-the-counter meds or filled a prescription in five years. This change to a more natural lifestyle has literally transformed my and my family's health. I know that our bodies have an incredible way of mending and healing themselves when supported. I wish I had known about all this hippie stuff sooner, and so my main goal is to help educate, encourage, and empower as many people as possible about this granola way of life. So I thank you for taking the time to listen. I hope you are inspired and take away many things that will empower you to experience a life of health, wellness, and abundance. This class is really important for moms and dads. I'm going to give you practical information in this class. If you have not been to an Essential Oils 101 class, I recommend you check that out on the Granola Babes website. It will provide you with the basics of essential oils, like what essential oils are, how they work, how to use them, etc. This class' primary focus is to educate moms and dads on how to use essential oils with their children. The information contained in this presentation is for educational purposes only. It is not provided to diagnose, prescribe, or treat any condition of the body. The information in this class should not be used as a substitute for medical counseling with a health professional. I like to preface all my classes by saying I am not anti-doctor nor anti-modern medicine. I'm really grateful for the advances that have been made in medicine. However, my stance is that if we have a choice for more natural and safer solutions for our health, that is the route I will take first. I'd like to start with some staggering statistics. I think they will be just as surprising to you as they are to me. In the U.S., antibiotics are used so excessively that the U.S. Centers for Disease Control calls superbugs, which are the germs that are resistant to antibiotic treatment, a significant and multifaceted health threat that places a significant human and economic burden on society. I know from experience that taking a lot of antibiotics can cause a resistance or negative reaction to them. Throughout my childhood, I was sick a lot and took many different antibiotics. As a result, there are few that I can't take now. Acetaminophen overdose is the leading cause for calls to poison control centers across the U.S., more than 100,000 instances per year. Each year, acetaminophen overdose is responsible for more than 56,000 emergency room visits, 2,600 hospitalizations, and an estimated 458 deaths due to acute liver failure. Acetaminophen poisoning is responsible for nearly half of all acute liver failure cases in the U.S. It can be toxic to your liver even at the recommended doses when taken daily just for a couple of weeks. Most people aren't aware that these things found in most homes are potentially life-threatening. Statistics show that in 2014, there were 10,000 deaths from illegal drugs, 100,000 deaths from pharmaceutical drugs, and zero deaths from essential oils. The good news is you have a choice. In this class, I wanna show you that you have options. You have access to natural solutions for common health challenges that pop up. I used to have a medicine cabinet filled with over-the-counter drugs and meds to treat my symptoms. I had an abundant supply of inhalers, nose sprays, allergy meds, cough suppressants, decongestants, and cough drops. The problem was they provided little to no relief. I didn't know what I didn't know. 
Now that I have been taught how I can naturally support my body and get to the root cause of all my respiratory issues instead of merely treating my symptoms, I want to share with everyone how they can do this too. As moms and dads, you are the CEOs of your family's health. You make the decisions for your kiddos until they are of age to do so for themselves. This is an important and incredible responsibility and doing the best you can requires being proactive and informing yourself. There is nothing wrong with doing research and asking your doctor a lot of questions. And what I want everyone to know is that you have safer, healthier, and more natural solutions to support your family's health. Keeping your family safe and healthy is your top priority, but unfortunately, accidents and illnesses are an inevitable part of life. So how can essential oils play a role in your family's life? Essential oils and natural products can be powerful, safe, and effective elements of your personal and family first aid kit. Providing care and support for minor ailments in the comfort of your own home will save you time, money, and help you avoid the harmful risks and the negative side effects associated with drugs and over-the-counter meds. Having access to essential oils allows you to provide immediate support when issues arise, like when it's 2 a.m., instead of having to wait till the doctor's office or pharmacy opens. You are a prepared mama or daddy. Right away, you can begin supporting your child's health naturally. One of the most exciting benefits to using essential oils is that they support the body in the natural healing process. Essential oils are different from drugs in that essential oils work to help the body do what it is naturally supposed to do on its own, whereas drugs and medications force the body to do something it's not naturally doing on its own. For example, when your child has a fever, their body's temperature goes up to begin fighting and killing off invaders and things that can harm it. We often freak out when our child gets a fever, but we should remember that this is a natural response of the body. A fever is a symptom, and symptoms are our body's way of communicating to us that there is something more going on. The fever in and of itself is not the root cause. It's a signal, like a check engine light in your car letting you know that something is up and that you need to take care of it. Obviously, we should monitor fevers because high temps can be dangerous. Most parents will give their child Tylenol and ibuprofen to bring the fever down. So, this medicine is going to force change on the body that is not natural. It is natural for our body to develop a fever to fight infection, but this medication goes in and forces it to do the opposite. This is the difference between treating symptoms with drugs and meds and knowing how to support the root cause of what's really going on using natural remedies. We live in an immediate gratification society where we expect instant results and instant relief, but the body doesn't work that way. Taking a pill may provide some relief momentarily, but it's essentially masking the underlying issue. We want true healing, and this takes time and attention. Just like when you take an antibiotic, you must take it for seven to 10 days because it takes time for your body to get well and back to its normal healthy state. Using essential oils consistently and diligently can help and support the natural healing process of the body. And in this class, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So how do essential oils work in the body? Because of their chemical makeup, our body readily accepts them. Essential oils are quickly and easily absorbed and circulate throughout the body. One of the many benefits of essential oils is that they can help stimulate the healing process. They are like a high performance car that carries oxygen and vital nutrients to our cells. Essential oils also act like street sweepers that go into our cells and cleanse dirty cells of toxins, petrochemicals, and heavy metals, all things that can prevent and hinder our bodies from functioning as they should. Essential oils don't build up in our bodies. They serve their purpose and then exit the body through sweating, urination, and elimination. Whether we use them topically, aromatically, or internally, essential oils work in tandem with the body to mend, repair, and promote healthy body systems and emotions. Advantages to using essential oils is that they are convenient, readily available, portable, fast acting, affordable, safe, effective, and have an incredibly long shelf life. When I was cleaning out my medicine cabinet after I began using the oils, I couldn't believe how many of the products I had that were expired. I challenge you to go through your medicine cabinet and check the expiration dates. 
The advantage to using essential oils is that as long as you keep your oils in a cool, dark place, your oils will last almost forever. They don't expire or go rancid. The other thing is, you must keep your meds up and out of reach of children because if they drink them, you would obviously have to call poison control or take them to the hospital because those things can be deadly. With essential oils, your children can easily and safely use pre-diluted roller bottles of oils on themselves when you teach them how. As with all things, there are safety guidelines, but I know many children who love their own special oils and have been taught how to use them properly without fear of them being injured by them. Let's talk about how to choose the best quality oils. Not all essential oils are created equal. I'm aware that there is a growing number of oils out on the market today. We can find them pretty much anywhere these days. However, that doesn't mean that they are good and safe for us to use. Don't you agree it's important to know what you're putting in and on your body? The market is flooded with low quality, substandard, fake essential oils that can be harmful to us. The only regulation for essential oils is that to be labeled 100% pure, organic, therapeutic grade essential oil, only 5% of what's in that bottle is actually essential oil. To sell the oils cheaper, these companies will cut the oil with synthetic fragrances, preservatives, and artificial fillers. Trust me, you do not want this on or in your body. It's important to note that pretty much anything that goes onto our skin, which is our largest organ, will enter into our bloodstream in less than a minute. Actually, the average is less than 30 seconds. So it's really important to know what you're putting on your body because eventually it will end up in your body and then your body has to figure out a way to use it or dispose of it. We want to provide our bodies with things that are health promoting, not hindering. Since 1994, Young Living has owned and operated their own farms, distilleries, labs, and warehouses. Their standards are far above international standards and anyone can visit their farms, fields, and distilleries at any time. In fact, I've had the amazing opportunity to visit one of their farms in Mona, Utah. It was absolutely incredible. They are the only essential oil company in the world with a seed to seal guarantee. Their oils are totally organic. All pest control is done with their own oils and plants are hand weeded. It takes a great deal of plant material and labor to produce each bottle of essential oil. Therefore, the cost will reflect the quality. As the saying goes, you get what you pay for. I have had friends tell me that they have used peppermint that they purchased at the grocery store and it had practically no effect on them. But when they experienced one drop of Young Living Peppermint Essential Oil, they had an immediate and profound effect. Let's go over some safety guidelines for using essential oils with your babies and children. In general, you should always look to the guidelines on the back of the bottle for recommended usage and dilution ratios. However, when it comes to your kiddos, it's important to remember that their skin is thinner than ours and can be more sensitive. Diluting essential oils with a carrier oil is always good practice. The carrier oils you can use are olive oil, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, and Young Living's V6 oil. Apply oils to the bottom of the feet because people are less likely to have a skin sensitivity there. When using oils with infants, you can use a half dose. And what that is, is when you put a drop in the palm of your hand and dab your finger in the oil. What is on your finger is considered half a drop. You can dilute that amount and then apply it to the bottom of their feet. Cover up those tootsies though with booties because babies like to put everything in their mouth and you don't want them to get the oils in their mouth. There are several guidelines online for dilution ratios for babies. Check these out and use your best judgment and comfort level. I know many mamas who enjoy using essential oils with their babies, so do your research and learn and learn about the tried and true methods for safely using them with your baby. With infants, you should avoid essential oils containing menthol like peppermint, wintergreen, and eucalyptus. Avoid using these oils close to their face because the aroma can be way too intense and actually take their breath away. Myrtle is a great alternative to these oils. If your child were to get oils in their eyes, flush them with a carrier oil, never water. 
Citrus oils are sun sensitive, so should not be applied to the skin and then exposed to the sun. Cover exposed skin or apply citrus oils to the bottom of the feet or use internally instead when you know you'll be going outside. How do you use your essential oils for maximum benefit? Apply essential oils as soon as symptoms arise or immediately following injury. Act quickly to begin supporting the body. The sooner you begin, the better. If you don't see results after a few hours of use or symptoms get worse, change the protocol, a different oil or method of application. Everyone is different and responds to oils in different ways. What works well for one might not be ideal for another. Sometimes you need to experiment and play with the oils you're using. Apply essential oils every 10 minutes in cases where illness advances in the body. Our body metabolizes oils quickly, so consistent use of them will be key. You can't expect to use an oil once and wonder why your child isn't instantly healed. Essential oils can be soothing, comforting, and helpful when used, but true healing takes place with time. Start with one to two drops and see how your child responds. Essential oils are potent, so a little bit goes a long way and has great benefit. Watch to see how your child responds to the oils. Ask your child how they feel and listen to your gut. Diffusing essential oils in your home promotes emotional support as well as amplifies the effects you are using with other methods of application. How do you use essential oils with your children? The three ways you can use essential oils are topically, aromatically, and internally. When using topically, they can be applied to the skin on many places on the body, the bottoms of the feet, behind ears, tummy, back, neck, shoulders, forehead, scalp, armpits, pulse points, and along the spine. Like I mentioned before, check the back of the bottle to see if that oil needs to be diluted. Your children can benefit greatly from using the oils aromatically as well, or inhaling the aroma. They can be so uplifting, calming, and relaxing, as well as energizing. Inhaling essential oils oxygenates the brain and promotes healthy brain function, often helping one to concentrate, focus, and with memory recall. Smell them from the bottle, use an essential oil diffuser, or put a drop in the palms of your hands, rub them together, then cup them over your nose and mouth, and breathe deeply. Young Living's Vitality Oils can be used as a dietary supplement and in your cooking. Again, a little goes a long way, so in most cases, one drop is sufficient. A drop can be added to a glass of water, in tea, in a teaspoon of honey, on a piece of bread, in yogurt, or in a smoothie. It may be too strong for children, but teenagers and young adults can place a drop of oil on or under their tongue. How do you know which oils to use? Essential oils are so versatile. Any one oil can serve many purposes. For example, lavender can promote feelings of relaxation. It's also great for skin, and it can be used to flavor food. There are several resources that can help you choose oils for any situation. The Essential Oil Desk Reference is my essential oils Bible, and I often refer to that. Dental Babies by Deborah Rayburn is a fantastic guide for knowing how to use oils with your babies. If you're on Facebook, join the Granola Babes group and post your questions there. There is no shortage of moms and dads who are happy to offer their support and suggestions. Fortunately, essential oils are adaptogens and can help the body with what it needs at the moment. So don't be discouraged if you learn that you need to use an oil that you don't have. Use what you have, it's still gonna provide benefit. Because of the essential oil's chemical makeup, we know that certain ones can support specific systems of the body. Here are some basic oils that do a tremendous job of helping these systems of the body function well. Which essential oils should be your staples? Young Living has a whole line dedicated to children. They are pre-diluted too, so you can use them right out of the bottle unless you prefer to dilute further. 
The name of the oils takes the guesswork out as to what they are good for. There is Genius to support healthy brain function, Owie for those inevitable boo-boos, Sleepy Eyes to support a good night's sleep, Tummy Jies, and Sniffleys. Now I'm gonna go through some common issues or scenarios that can come up with your children and give some suggestions on which oils to use and how to use them. In all cases, you will implement basic first aid practices, but you can incorporate the oils in the process. Your child falls off his or her bike and gets a minor cut, or your child wakes up in the middle of the night with a bloody nose. Cypress essential oil to the rescue. You can apply one to two drops of cypress to the exposed skin away from the cut. For nosebleeds, put one to two drops of cypress on the inside of each forearm, as well as on the bridge of the nose. Cypress is soothing to the respiratory system as well, and can be used with bedwetting by rubbing diluted cypress over the abdomen before bed. When used aromatically, it can help ease feelings of loss and creates a sense of security and grounding. It can help support emotions during times of trauma and calms and soothes anger. For typical boo-boos like bumps and blisters, lavender, frankincense, valor, or kidsense owie oil blend works great when you apply it directly on the spot. If skin is broken, apply to surrounding areas. If your child were to get a minor burn, obviously the first step is to cool the skin as quickly as possible. Young Living has a spray called Lavaderm Cooling Mist that can be used as often as needed for the first several hours and followed with two to three drops of lavender oil neat or undiluted. I burn the top of my hand while pulling something out of the oven and after running my hand under cold water, I applied lavender oil directly on it. It helped a lot. For stuffy noses, lavender, myrtle, frankincense, and sniffles are good for babies. Children three and up can use eucalyptus, peppermint, RC, and Breathe Again Roll-On. Diffuse any of these oils in the same room. Inhale the aroma from the bottle. Rub a drop between your hands and inhale, or massage diluted essential oils over chest, neck, and back. To help relieve tummy discomfort, Apply one to three drops of Digiz, Peppermint, Tummy Gize, or Ginger Diluted on the stomach area. A drop of Peppermint or Digiz can be added to a glass of water with older children to help soothe tummy issues. For lower intestinal support for infants, you can mix one drop of Roman chamomile with one tablespoon of a carrier oil and massage onto abdomen, stroking clockwise to follow the direction of the colon. For children, diluted lemon and peppermint massage onto the lower abdomen can soothe as well. For motion sickness, inhale peppermint, ginger, digiz, tummy gize, and lemon. Try putting a drop of any of these oils to the strap of a car seat or seat belt to help on those long car rides. To support healthy lungs when your kiddos aren't feeling well, diffuse eucalyptus, peppermint, thieves, RC, marjoram, melrose, raven, revencera, or sniffles in their bedroom at night. Rub one to three drops diluted eucalyptus, peppermint, or any of the oils I just mentioned over the chest and back. Have your kiddos inhale the aroma from your or their hands. This will help open up their airways. To cleanse and purify boo-boos, you can gently apply one to two drops of purification, tea tree, or lavender to the area. It may sting a little bit, but it will cleanse and stimulate healing. Add five drops of lavender and five drops of tea tree to a small bowl of water and use this water to cleanse minor cuts and scrapes. Cover the area with animal sense ointment. I know. The name implies it's strictly for animals, but I love it as a soothing protective barrier, and we can use it too. After you have cleaned the area, apply some ointment and then cover with a bandage. To aid in the healing, apply oils like lavender, frankincense, or tea tree to the band-aid or bandage before covering wound. For ear discomfort, apply two drops of lavender or purification diluted 50-50 with warm olive oil to a cotton swab, and then apply around the opening of the ear, but not directly in the ear. Never ever drop essential oils into the ear. Apply one to two drops of thieves or lavender diluted behind and around the ear. Thieves is a hot oil, so dilute, dilute, dilute. 
Put two to three drops of the diluted oil on a cotton ball and place over the ear opening and leave in overnight. This can be very soothing. For minor elevated temps, apply two to three drops of lemon essential oil to the spine or inside of forearms. Next, dilute two to three drops of peppermint oil diluted 50-50 and apply to the spine and head. Massage two to three drops of peppermint and lavender to the bottom of the feet every 30 minutes. You can also try applying cold compresses with two drops of peppermint to the forehead or back of neck. Change out when they get warm. Like I mentioned earlier, fevers serve two important purposes, to enhance immune system function and to create an environment inhospitable to foreign invaders. A fever is an important part of your body's defense mechanism against infections. As long as the fever is not too high or rapidly rising, it can be considered an ally in restoring health. For occasional head discomfort, you can dilute peppermint, frankincense, or lavender and apply it to the temples, avoiding the eye area. You can also add those oils to the forehead and nape of neck. For sinus pressure, apply two drops of eucalyptus, peppermint, or purification to your hands. Rub together and inhale or apply these oils diluted over sinuses and on the temples. For insect bites and stings, use a drop of purification, lavender, peppermint, or tea tree directly on the spot. You can apply to areas as often as needed to soothe the area. To help your kiddos settle down and get a good night's rest, apply lavender to the bottoms of the feet before bed. Diffuse lavender, sleepy eyes, Roman chamomile, vetiver, frankincense, marjoram, orange, or cedarwood in their room. Put a drop of lavender or sleepy eyes on their pillow, blanket, or stuffed animal for them to snuggle with. For sprains and sore muscles from exercise, always have peppermint, pan away, deep relief, cool azul pain cream, or relieve it on hand. Dilute and massage onto achy joints and muscles after workout, practice, or a game. This even soothes when your kiddos are having growing pains. To soothe minor throat discomfort, mix one drop of lemon vitality in a glass of warm water and gargle four to eight times daily. Apply one to three drops of Thieves or Immupower diluted to the throat, chest, and back of neck two to four times daily. You may also apply these to the throat over the lymph glands. Gargling with the Thieves mouthwash can be soothing, as well as sucking on the Thieves throat lozenges or cough drops, both great options. I have used the Thieves spray directly on my throat and that has helped a lot too. For toothaches and teething. With infants, dilute clove, copaiba, or frankincense with coconut oil and apply to the gums. You can also rub a diluted drop of Roman chamomile, lavender, copaiba, or frankincense to the jawline. With older kids and adults, apply diluted Thieves, Panaway, or clove to the jawline. I know people who have applied a drop of thieves directly to the tooth or gums for a toothache and it has helped tremendously. It's a great idea to have a roller bottle made up pre-diluted ahead of time so that you can easily grab it and use it immediately. There are some other healthy lifestyle products that will keep your kiddos happy and healthy. Essential oils can be your go-to for the situations we just talked about, but good health requires healthy lifestyle habits and routines. One of the pillars to overall health and wellness is having a chemical-free home. You can have all the essential oils and natural remedies in the world, but if you have a home filled with toxic chemicals, like in your personal care, air fresheners, and home cleaning products, then you are negating all the good you are trying to do with the natural remedies. You probably don't think about reading the label to your lotion or face wash, shampoo, or toothpaste, do you? You probably think, as I once did, that if we can purchase it in the store, then of course it must be safe for us to consume, right? I'm sorry to say that this is not true. Just a little side note, I encourage you to get a handy little app on your phone called Think Dirty. It's an app that you can use to check out the toxicity and safety of the personal care products you use every single day. You can either do a search by typing the product in the search bar, or you can use the barcode scan on the app to scan the product. It will give you a rating and show you how toxic it is to you. 
This app will be very eye-opening and shocking and you will never look at your products the same way again. You will learn that many of the products we use to clean our bodies and our homes are posing a major threat to our health and well-being. These toxins and chemicals pose a threat to our health and hinder our bodies from working as they were designed to. Young Living has a whole line of products for kids and babies, like toothpaste, lotion, body wash, multivitamins, wipes, massage oil, diaper cream, hand soap, hand purifier, and so on. They are safe because they do not contain all those chemicals found in many of the store-bought products. Not only are they great because they are safe, but they contain essential oils and are actually health-promoting. Wouldn't it be amazing to have personal care products that are actually good for your children and babies? The oils I think every parent should have. Just like most homes probably have band-aids, antibiotic ointment, or fever reducers in their medicine cabinet, I'm going to share with you the natural remedy staples I have in my home and the ones that I recommend for every home. So the essential oils I can't live without are lavender, lemon, peppermint, frankincense, thieves, purification, eucalyptus, and tea tree. You can pretty much address any minor ailment with these eight oils. They are so versatile as each oil can be used for a million things. The oils that are nice to have are cypress, cedarwood, deep relief, breathe again, roll on, helichrysum, panaway, roman chamomile, Immupower, Digize, RC, and Myrtle. You can add these oils to your collection over time to build your arsenal of oils. People often text me and ask me, what oil should I use for blank, whatever the particular issue is? And one of the first questions I ask is, what oils do you have? Use the oils you have. Don't think that just because you don't have an oil that's mentioned in a resource book that you can't help your child. Pick an oil out of your collection and use it. Don't get caught unprepared. What are you going to do when your child wakes up at 2 a.m. with a tummy ache or a fever? What are you gonna do when your child falls off their bike and gets a cut or a bruise? You have options, you have a choice. You can reach for your essential oils first aid kit and know that they are safe, effective, and comforting. We also underestimate the power the oils have in calming us when we are feeling anxious, scared, or stressed. When kids get hurt or don't feel well, they can feel worried about what's happening to them. The aroma of the oils you use to help them physically also have a profound effect emotionally. What a perfect natural remedy. Essential oils aren't just meant to be kept at home. Take your oils with you whenever you go. I never leave home without at least two oils. You just never know when you're gonna need them. I can't tell you how many times I've used my oils while out and about running errands. For example, if I use a public restroom, I rub a couple of drops of lemon oil in the palm of my hands after washing them. Your kids touch everything, so you can do something as simple as using fresh smelling lemon to help clean and purify their hands. Going to the park with your kids, be sure to have your oils with you in case there is a bump or a boo-boo. Go to a restaurant and your kiddo may eat something that didn't agree with them. A drop of peppermint in their water, on their tongue, or rubbed on their belly is very soothing. We have a saying in our house, nothing good ever happens when we leave home without our oils. So, are you ready to begin building your natural medicine cabinet or first aid kit? Do you want to have these safe and health-promoting essential oils as your first line of defense? Young Living has made it affordable and easy to get started. I believe your and your family's health is the greatest investment you can make. Do you agree? How much time can you take off of work or school for illness? How expensive is it to go to the doctor and pay for illness? I would rather invest in my health than illness. It's health assurance, or disease disease prevention instead of health insurance. I have spent a lot of money on things that were not helping or contributing to my health. One of the best things I did was get started with the oils. I can help you do the same. It's as simple as getting your own oils premium starter kit. This kit contains 11 oils, a diffuser, samples, mini bottles for traveling or sharing, 
two packets of Ningxia Red and your Lifetime Young Living Membership. For just $160, you will receive almost $400 in products. It's the only item in the Young Living catalog that is 50% off. It has everything you need to start your oily journey. With this kit, you're getting more than just oils. As a Young Living member, you receive 24% off retail prices. Your personal online account where you have control over purchasing the oils you want, when you want, and they get shipped directly to you. You have access to member perks, monthly promos, free oils, and the best part, exclusive access to Young Living's monthly subscription-based loyalty program called Essential Rewards. This program is only available to Young Living members and is meant to help you step-by-step, month-by-month, replace the chemicals in your home with natural, health-promoting products. You can be proactive and intentional about creating a healthy and healing home. I recommend setting this up when you purchase your starter kit so you don't miss out on immediate benefits. Get your kit by going to www.getoiling.com forward slash Terry underscore granola babes or go to youngliving.com, click become a member and choose your kit. Put the member number of the person who shared this class with you in the field where, where it asks for the enroller and sponsor. When you become a member with me or anyone on the Granola Babes team, you will receive a welcome packet with special gift as well as continuous support. You are not alone in this. We have your back and will help you along the way. Thank you so much for listening to this class. I hope it inspires you and helps you use your oils for maximum benefit. Please feel free to share this class with anyone you know. Do you agree that it's important to inform others about this? I sure do. You can contact me at terry.granolababes at gmail.com if you have any questions. That is terry, T-E-R-I, dot granolababes at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you.